What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Iron Banner loot from last week on all three of my characters. So this past Iron Banner has finally wrapped up and we got offered some new gear and weapons to acquire this time around. We had the helmets and the boots for the armor and for the weapons it was the shotgun and the auto rifle this time. So as for my end game rewards, I was pretty unlucky overall. I didn't get too many end game loot. So I ended up getting no shotguns as rewards from Iron Banner matches and the one that Lord Saladin was selling was pretty bad in terms of perks so I didn't end up picking one up. And then for the auto rifle I got like one or two drops for the auto rifle and one of them did have rodeo on it which is pretty good because stability is really good on auto rifles as well as a range perk. So I was pretty lucky in that sense. And then for the helmets, I got some helmets as well, but most of them weren't as good as the ones that Lord Saladin was selling, so I ended up just picking up some of those helmets from him instead. And then I also got some class items and stuff like that. So overall, my drops weren't the greatest, but I'm going to show you guys what I got from my rank 5 packages as well, so let's get straight into it. So going into the package reward, just as a reminder, you are guaranteed a 310 to 320 Iron Banner item from this rank 5 package. And for my first character on my Hunter, I ended up getting just the Iron Shell and I believe I had to go to Orbit to actually receive my reward. So when I headed back to Orbit, I ended up receiving the Iron Companion Vest, which is the chess piece for the Hunter. And it was at 310, which was pretty unlucky. That is the lowest drop that you can get for this rank 5 package. So I was pretty unlucky with that one. And then moving on to my next rank 5 package for my Warlock. We ended up getting ourselves another Iron Shell and the Iron Wreath D sidearm this time. And it came in at 311. So that was kind of unlucky. The perks on it were pretty decent though. I got Feeding Frenzy and reactive reload pretty good combo and I also got a range perk in the last column as well so it was pretty decent of perks for the sidearm but the level of it wasn't the greatest so that was kind of a bummer as well and then for my last iron banner rank 5 package of this event on my titan we ended up getting the iron shell once again and the way lauren's march which is the iron banner sniper rifle and it came in at 319 which was pretty cool that was my best drop by far just because of the level of it but the sniper itself doesn't look like it's that amazing um it is a low impact sniper just because i guess effort eat spear was so good in year one that they made the sniper not as great this time around. They also made the shotgun not as good because of Felwinter's Lie. Uh, so the sniper itself didn't have the greatest perks on it either. So I'm probably going to end up uh, just infusing it into something else to level up my other weapons instead. So yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, my rank 5 drops weren't as good this time around just because I got a 320 last Iron Banner. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave a link of my last Iron Banner rewards from the last event. But that's about it. Once again, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.